Hey, you know what's funny is if you look historically, the abstract expressionists were considered to be, um, how do you say it, the most macho guys that ever walked the face of the earth in their need to create that sublime, heroic moment. Nothing is more macho than that, with the exception of maybe graffiti art, which is the most macho way to put a big painting. Wait a minute, a big painting? That's kind of, uh, you know, a lot of colors, a lot of energy, infuriates everybody. Is graffiti abstract expressionism? It's, it's macho, it's big, it's colorful. You won't get this type of challenge in academia that has a bunch of these stiff art books written by squares, whipped out with very little scholarship except the pretense of scholarship. They won't ever challenge your mode of thinking. They will tell you, this happened historically, and then this happened as a reaction against it, and then this was a synthesis of those two movements. And you get this Hegelian bullshit. Instead of constantly challenging, poetically and creatively, every construct you could imagine. That's what creativity is, that's what academia in the arts does not do, and that's what an artist has to challenge themselves with. Constantly rewriting everything you know, remembering it, forgetting it, reconstituting it, moving on. I'm moving on now.